Container queries. Browser support is getting pretty good and you can now use them in Tailwind CSS. Let's take a look. Here's the responsive card where the layout changes at the small breakpoint. You can see the image goes to the left instead of from the top. Here's a code for the card and you can see it's using the small breakpoint to make changes. So that all works well, but now let me create a grid with two columns. Inside of that grid, I will paste the exact same card two times so they show up side by side. Obviously, when we have two columns, we have much less horizontal space, but the card still relies on the viewport width to make the layout changes. And that's a classic scenario where container queries can help us. Instead of relying on viewport width, you can rely on the container width and define changes based on the width of that container. Utilities for container queries will eventually make it to Tailwind CSS Core, but for the time being, you can bring it through a first party plugin. npm install d at Tailwind CSS slash container queries. And now in the Tailwind config file, I can require that plugin. All right, let's start working with the card in the first column. I wrap this card in a div with a class of at container. And this will define the container type inline size to this block of HTML. Now I want to change all the SM utilities, which are media queries, to instead use container queries. So I can use at, and this will give me a list of at container breakpoints. Those are based on the default max width scale, not the default media query breakpoints. For example, SM, you can see min width 24 rems, but the small breakpoint in Tailwind is 640, which is 40 rems. And of course you can customize all of that. For here, let's take something slightly smaller. Yeah, I'll go with 36 rems, so at XL. And now we've replaced our media query breakpoint with breakpoints listening to the container width. This is our first card that we have updated. So let's take a look at what happens when we expand the viewport width. Okay, so now the container has more than 36 RAM in width. So we've switched to the side-by-side -side layout. But as I keep growing, you can see that now the container is back to below 36 RAM. So instead of breaking like this card that listens to the whole viewport width, like that card, this is aware of its own container and will only take side-by-side -side layout when there's enough sufficient space, which we've set to 36 rem. So let's keep going until we hit that container width again, and it should switch back to a side-by-side -side layout. Beautiful. All right, so I'll copy that card that has the container queries set up, and I will replace the code for the other card with that. So both our cards support container queries. Very nice. And just to appreciate how it works, let's copy this whole grid with the two cards. And I'll paste that here, paste a third card, and at the top, change the columns to three columns. So we have three columns and then two columns. And right away, you can see the container queries have deemed that there's not enough space to switch to the horizontal layout. So you don't have to worry about what context you use your card in. The container query will always make sure that it uses the layout that makes the most sense based on the container width. Let's make the window narrow, and you can see now our two columns have shifted to this vertical layout. And eventually, if they have enough space horizontally again, you can see that all cards switch to this horizontal layout, but we'll eventually go back to the vertical layout. So that's container queries in Tailwind CSS. Be sure to check out the browser support before you use them, and also check out the plugin's GitHub repo for full documentation. See you later.